Okay, welcome everyone. This is Melissa Arma with the stock swoosh. Boeing was halted and it's just reopened. I think it was about 30 minutes. Let's take a look here. <coughs> it was news. 1238. Not quite, not quite 30 minutes. 105. So we are going to probably sell off here in this now. So the news out that uh, the, they're, they are halting, halting production at the Puget Sound uh, facility. Let me just look here. Yeah. And so, and it's due to the coronavirus. Boeing suspending production operation at Puget Sound facilities due to coronavirus. That's what's happening. So I would expect that this is going to create some kind of sell-off here, but they halted the stock before the news came out. And... Uh, I mean, we opened not that far off where it actually had been halted. So it was 99.27. And it opened at 100. Let's just take here a look at seeing all of this here. Yeah. So anyways, very interesting times, people. I think it's important to take profits quickly in day trades, only trade in the morning, which we normally do. Um, I did tell everybody that this morning, number one. Number two... Um, if you're in options trades, again, take profits when you're up. Don't be piggies about your profits because it's not a good idea in this market. Um, and, it, it, you know, we, we had a big move this morning, actually, in the pre-market, and it flipped around both directions. So you really have to know what you're doing in this market. I think this is a good weekend for me to be doing the class because there's so many people that really need to know what to do, don't know what to do. Um, and everyone's been doing well uh, that's been in the trading room and on the options letter. So I'm pleased how well people have been doing, but it doesn't mean that you start getting piggy. Um, and again, we, we had a great trade this morning in the room, quick for the day trades, but this is a good example here why it's not a good idea to trade in the afternoon. Um, and, and particularly right now in this volatile period. So we're going to stay focused, going to keep watching things. Um, it'll be interesting to see where Boeing goes here. I'm a little surprised it's rallying on this uh, negative news. But again, I don't look at news. Um, I look at gaps. Boeing really didn't gap today at all. I did not call any new trades in this today whatsoever. Um, so, I mean, no one should have been, you know, in any kind of day trades in this that it would have mattered. But this really didn't have a gap at all this morning. So I really wasn't, wasn't following this on top of this here. And then all of a sudden... Um, the news broke. So we'll we'll see where this closes today. 108. Um, and again, not everyone has a story. This is kind of breaking news that's pending to find out more information about what's going on. So be careful if you're trading this afternoon. Be careful you're trading at all this week. Make sure that you take profits and trades that you're up. Focus on the morning. And uh, I'm really happy that I'm proud of myself for all the things that I know about gaps. Because I tell you, in this market, uh, the gaps have been guiding me more so than, than ever in the right direction um, because the market's very volatile right now and you have to play things with momentum. You have to make sure that you're in the right direction. You have to hold the conviction and by God, you gotta know what to do. So we'll see here what happens with this Boeing tonight into the close and then tomorrow morning. Be very interested. Very interested to see. Okay, all right, good luck everyone. If you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter or the Golden Gap class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.